Look at the size of those snowflakes. Come on out, Casper. The winter air will make you feel good. Good and bad, I hope. I'll fly along with them. I hate spending a winter day all alone. It sure is cold. Boy, it's snowing harder than ever. I can hardly see where I'm flying. <laughs> I'm all covered with snow and ice. Help, I'm falling. Me too. It never snowed like this before. I give up. Let's go home and thaw out. I better ask old Saul to turn on more heat before everything is frozen solid. That's funny. I'm closer to the sun, but it's still so cold I'm turning blue. Oh, hello, Casper. Gosh, Saul, what's wrong? Why aren't you giving off any heat? I'm sorry, Casper, but some little rascals in a spaceship stole my heat generator. Golly, that's awful. And I'm so cold, I couldn't even look for them. I may be able to drum up a bit of heat for you, Casper. Ah, <coughs> 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 oh, I'm feeling like my old self again. I've about had it, Casper. You better find them fast. Don't worry, Saul. I'll bring back your generator. Gosh, there goes the spaceship. Hey, wait! Full speed ahead! We're being followed! You've got to listen to me. Yank! Here comes that guy again. Lucky we're almost home. Wait, I want to talk to you. Who are you, anyway? I'm from Earth. I came to get the heat generator you took from the sun. Oh, yeah? Well, it's ours now, sonny boy. But it doesn't belong to you. Who's going to stop us? You? Take that. You can't hurt a ghost with that ray gun. Seven snowballs! Quick! Get the ship inside the ice palace! Wait! Can't we be friends? Who wants to be friends with a ghost? I've got to get that generator back. Ooh, this place is like an ice box. Here's the heat generator, King Cool. Good. Now we can keep our planet nice and warm. Just a minute. You can't take what doesn't belong to you. It's the space book again. That generator belongs to old Saul, a son. Scram, Spook. I'm keeping it here in my ice palace, see? Well, I'm not leaving without it. This will cool you off. <sighs> that ice water froze so fast, I can't move. Take him up and toss him out the window. That'll get rid of him. Yes, King Cool. That's the end of you, Spook. God, I'm so cold I can't use my ghostly powers to get free. What a break. The friction of that slide melted the ice. I've got to make King Cool give back that generator or Earth will be frozen. Come on, fellas. I must have that generator. It's that Earth spook again. Well? Spook, you're going in deep freeze. Lock him up in the ice caverns. Maybe I'll think of some way to convince them while in there. You know, this isn't being very friendly. This place is colder than the ice palace. I wonder where this cave goes. Uh-oh, I'm all covered with coal dust. Golly, the walls here are all cold. Hmm, those stones I kicked struck sparks. If I make a big enough fire in this cave of coal, it might be able to heat up the whole planet. Gee, this place is getting red hot. I wonder if this heat is getting up to the ice palace. Thank goodness I got rid of that coal dust. Hey, the spook has escaped from the ice cavern. Wait, King Cool. I found a way to heat your planet. Gosh, he's right. It is warm and cozy all of a sudden. Now that you have your own heating system, will you return the generator to the sun? Of course, Casper. My people will take it back on the spaceship for you. Goodbye, King Cool. I'm glad to have made such warm friends. Goodbye, Casper. Thanks for your help. 
Thanks to you, Casper, I can rise and shine again. Ah, <sighs> that sunshine feels real good.
guys doing out here in the snow? It's that catnip, Hyman. Yeah, he chased us out again. Oh, he did, eh? Catnip, I don't know what I would do around here without you. Just leave everything to Cousin Hyman. You watch the house while I'm shopping, Catnip, and I'll bring you a nice present. are on Cousin Hyman, fellas. tough on my chums, pal. And one of these days, they're gonna pack up and walk out on you, and you'll be out of work, too. Oh, no! Wait a minute, fellas. I'll do anything if you just stay. I'll give you the run of the house. You think we ought to give them another chance, boys? Fellas. Around here and stay out. <laughs> 